Next, let's cover the not found in metric discrepancy type. This discrepancy means we have a package within our FlowHub account that is no longer within our metric. If we were to sell out of this package, we would receive an upload error when reporting sales to metric. The first step to correcting this is to isolate this package in our FlowHub inventory in a not for sale room. I'm going to copy this 24 digit package tag, then head over to my FlowHub inventory and I'm going to search for that package in my inventory. Once I have found that package, I am then going to select move transfer and move this package to a not for sale room. Once we've isolated this package, let's explore the different scenarios as to why we have this discrepancy. The quantity within this active package could have been wasted out within metric and the package closed within metric, but not within our flow hub. This package could also have been a training package added into the system for inventory training purposes. Let's search the store to see if we still physically have it in stock. The most common case for this scenario is finishing a package physically, closing the package within metric, but forgetting to remove the package from our FlowHub inventory. If we do not have the physical package, we can look into our metric to see if it has been closed out recently. Once we've confirmed that it has, we can then remove this from our FlowHub inventory. So we are going to highlight that package and then under the details tab, under the bottom right will be our option to remove. Cool. We've reviewed the second discrepancy type not found in metric. In the next video, we will cover quantity discrepancies and how to correct them. See you there.